Prototypes, Key, key Games, games Programmable Game began. System, page As 329. As a way for the early Atari company to get around arcane exclusivity agreements of pinball and arcade distributors and sell its games to more companies. We'll learn about the Key Games Programmable Game System from the book Art of Atari by Tim Lepatino in just a few minutes. Stay tuned. Hey, it's your uh, your pal, your irresistible video game historian, Jeremy, back again with more reading from the book, Art of Atari by Tim Lepatino. We're nearing the end of this chapter, Prototypes. We just learned about the graduate keyboard, and now we're on page 329. We're gonna learn about the key games programmable game system. You are watching Video Gamers Awaits Us on TikTok. Send some likes and loves if you like retro gaming history. Click that follow or subscribe button on my TikTok channel. Also, this video will be uploaded onto my YouTube channel, Video Gamers Oasis on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe to that channel for more interesting and uh, exciting geeky and gaming gamer content. If you like retro gaming history, some retro gaming, some new gaming, and some interesting content, that's a little bit unusual and surprising. Make sure to subscribe to that channel. On with the uh, the article reading. Page 329. Key Games Programmable Game System. Key Games began as a way for the early Atari company to get around arcane exclusivity agreements of pinball and arcade distributors, and sell its games to more companies. Atari co-founder Bushnell hired his neighbor and friend Joe Keenan to run the quote-unquote shadow company, which would appear as a competitor of Atari's, when in fact it was a wholly owned subsidiary or subsidiary Key Games would produce, quote-unquote, clones of existing Atari arcade games, thus enabling them to sell to two distributors at once. The subterfuge was discovered in December, 1974. Next column to the right. And amidst company turmoil, select key management were slotted back into Atari upon the quote-unquote merger, and Keenan became president of Atari. In the same way that Key cloned arcade games from Atari, the company planned to release a Key-branded version of the six-switch VCS. That never came to pass, but... Prototype console versions and these rough packaging concepts for the key games video game system provide some insight into how the system might have been marketed and packaged. I'm going to look at some photographs, some illustrations. Up left corner, here are one of the illustrations, uh, and there's a description for it. Initial rough artwork and production art to be used in packaging for the Key Games VGS, a rebranded VCS. The video game system, the Key Games, the, the box design reads, the Super Game co co Computer, fantastic variety and flexibility. Next illustration, we have an example of the Key Programmable Game System box design. Use the, um, those great Atari game program cartridges seen on TV. Model number M, what's that say? M-2660. And uh, there's the box design reads, Key Games. Brings this dynamic computer to your home TV to entertain the entire family. With this console unit, plus game programs and additional controllers, you can set up a fabulous game library in your home, own home. The programmable game system features realistic game sounds, on-screen scoring, 
color on color TVs. No batteries needed. This carton contains programmable game system console unit, one set of remote controllers, brackets, joysticks, TV forward slash game switch box, AC power adapter, game program and additional controllers must be purchased separately. So here we have some clone games, photographs uh, of some games that were cloned. And the description below reads, copyright Key Games Incorporated 1978, Key Games Incorporated. It's a Warner Communications company. Basically, uh, there's the copyright information on the bottom. Now we're going to move on to the bottom left corner of the page. The description reads, original Key Games logo, top, and an unused logo design to be used in conjunction with the key games video game system so here we have the key games logo on the top and there's another key game logo design that was uh, never used for an unused system bottom right illustration magnified description reads a handful of prototypes exist of the key games branded v c s it vir looks virtually identical to an Atari VCS, only it's orange and black and has a yellow sticker with uh, a rainbow of orange or yellow, yellowish orange, a darker orange, uh, purple and blue. Programmable game system. So if you have this machine in your collection, I, I doubt that you do. But if you're a retro game TikToker or a YouTuber, make sure to make some videos showing this uh, equipment. My friends, was page 329. We just learned about the rare and unreleased Key Games programmable game system. And we're learning about the chapter prototypes. We're nearing the end of this chapter. Tune in next video. We're going to be really moving forward with this chapter, try to get this chapter cleared up. Um, page 330, we're going to learn about the article ProVision. In the book Art of Atari by Tim Lipitino. Taking a little lunch break. I'll be back real soon with some more content on this channel. Send some likes, send some love if you like what you saw. I do appreciate your feedback and I do appreciate your, your motivation and uh, advice for making better videos. I'm always open-minded and willing to uh, improve myself. So thanks so much for your feedback. Subscribe this both, to, both to this channel and to my TikTok channel and YouTube channel, Video Gamers Oasis, for more content. I'll see you again real soon. I'm having a quick lunch break, and I'll be back very soon. Bye for now.